while the offseason headlines were dominated by Shohei Otani going to the Dodgers, the Yankees quietly picked up a World Series winning four-time Silver Slugger and three-time All-Star named Juan Soto. At 25 years old, Soto is one of the game's most vibrant and recognizable faces. He's got a trademark batting routine called the Soto Shuffle where he crouches down and trolls opposing pitchers whenever they miss the strike zone. But while Soto is among the majors most disciplined and feared hitters, this season he's already joining his third different team after the Padres traded the superstar outfielder to the Yankees. Now, Juan Soto finds himself at the heart of one of MLB's best lineups. Here's why Juan Soto is up next. Juan Jose Soto Pacheco was born in the Dominican Republic capital of Santo Domingo. He's the middle child of three. He has an older sister and a younger brother named Elian, who's currently a third baseman prospect in the Washington national system. Juan's father, Juan Soto Sr., was a salesman who played catcher in a local men's league and introduced Juan Jr. to baseball before he could even walk. The two watched the Lice Tigers play in Estadio Cascaya known for its lively atmosphere during Lisey games. Obsessed with baseball, Soto grew up idolizing the Dominican-born Manny Ramirez and Robinson Cano. But he couldn't always go outside and play because he grew up in a rough neighborhood, and his mother, Becky Pacheco, didn't want him, you know, caught up in any of the trouble. Soto and his dad improvised. At home, they hit balls made of crumpled paper wrapped in tape down their hallway, and whenever one senior had games with his local league, he'd throw batting practice to Juan Jr. Believe it or not, Soto is naturally right-handed, but his dad convinced him to bat and throw left-handed because of the advantage it gives baseball players. Sound sort of familiar? Soto was so good, his friends nicknamed him Little Robbie after Cano, the left-handed batting second baseman, and it wouldn't be long before his talent became recognized by Major League Scouts. In July 2015, Soto signed an international free agent deal with the Washington Nationals, which included a $1.5 million signing bonus. Later that year, at just 17 years old, he earned MVP honors in the Gulf Coast League after making his pro debut with the Nationals' rookie-level squad, hitting five home runs and 32 RBIs while batting 368. Soto advanced through the Nationals' Class A short and Class A squads in 2016 and 17, but he injured his ankle while sliding into home during a May contest, spoiling the rest of the season. Still, MLB Pipeline ranked Soto as the Nationals' number two overall prospect in 2017. Fully healthy in 2018, Soto was promoted to the Nationals' Class A and Class AA teams, only needing eight games at AA level before getting called up to the Nationals' big league roster on May 20th, 2018. Soto debuted in the majors at 19 years and 207 days old. During his first at bat, he took pitcher Robbie Erlin deep, smacking a 422-foot homer into the opposite field for his first career hit. Soto became the youngest player in Nationals history to hit a home run, passing then-teammate Bryce Harper. A week later, Soto earned an intentional walk against the Orioles, becoming the youngest MLB player to get a free pass since Ken Griffey Jr. in 1989. He even showed off impressive speed becoming the youngest player to steal three bases in a single game since Ricky Henderson. Soto's rookie season was sensational. He finished with 22 homers and 70 RBIs. He became the first teenager ever to record an on-base percentage over 400 and walk over 60 times. But somehow, Soto finished second in Rookie of the Year voting to Braves outfielder Ronald Acuna Jr. Maybe it inspired Soto. Maybe it didn't. Either way, he maintained his incredible play into his second MLB season, finishing the 2019 campaign with 34 homers and 110 RBIs while drawing the league's third most walks. But this is the year Soto's postseason legend truly began. In a one-game wildcard matchup against the Brewers, the Nationals trailed 3-1 during the bottom of the eighth. With the bases loaded, Soto stepped up the bat against closer Josh Hader and clubbed a three-RBI single to give Washington a 4-3 lead that they'd hang on to and reach the next round. Ten days later, during a winner-go-home Game 5 against the Dodgers in the NLDS, Soto stepped up against Clayton Kershaw in the top of the eighth and ripped a game-tying homer off the future Hall of Famer setting up Washington to win in extras and reach the NLCS for the first time in Nats history. Washington swept the Cardinals to reach the World Series, where they faced the Houston Astros. Houston led the series 3-2 when Soto stepped up yet again with a clutch homer off another future Hall of Famer, this time Justin Verlander, the force of Game 7. 
the Nats would go on to win the World Series, and Soto was named the Babe Ruth Award winner as the best postseason performer. Soto followed up his World Series performance by leading the majors in OBP, slugging, and OPS, and winning his first career Silver Slugger during the COVID-shortened 2020 season. In 2021, Soto was named to his first All-Star game and posted an absurd 313, 465, 534 slash line. He became the first player since Ted Williams to lead the majors in OBP multiple times by age 22, tallying 145 walks the most since Barry Bond set the record in 2004. Still, despite his impressive numbers, Soto finished second in NL MVP voting to Bryce Harper, who had joined the Philadelphia Phillies two seasons earlier. While Soto established himself as a major league superstar, the matter of paying him became an issue. Soto and super agent Scott Boris declined huge offers worth hundreds of millions from the Nationals. Soto's profile only increased after winning the 2022 Home Run Derby, becoming the second youngest winner ever. But a few months later, after failing to agree on a new contract, the Nationals traded Soto to the Padres in one of the most shocking deals in MLB history. Despite being paired with San Diego's young superstar, Fernando Tatis Jr., Soto's time with the Padres didn't match the heights of his time in Washington. The Padres upset the Dodgers during the 2022 NLDS, but fell in the NLCS to Harper and the Phillies in just five games. Soto didn't sign a long-term contract during the offseason, and the Padres sputtered to an 82-80 record in 2023. The Yankees acquired Soto and outfielder Trent Grisham from San Diego ahead of the 2024 season. New York missed the postseason in 2023, but with Aaron Judge, John Carr Stanton, Alex Verdugo, and now Soto leading their lineup, maybe the Bronx Bombers can return to the top of the MLB hierarchy.